Not very long ago, I said 5G is a scam because why do we need faster phones? I was just listening to Meg Myers on my cell phone on YouTube on a 5, uh, 4G 3G phone, which by the way, the song I was talking about that's really good, Tear Me to Pieces on her new album, but she has a lot of good songs. That's why I'm putting her on the best artist of all time list. So I have decided she is the sexiest woman alive because of her song, Tennessee. It's a joke song. It's awesome. Uh, the Sexiest Man Alive, I'm giving it to the guy from Crazy Rich Asians, the the main guy. My mouth is, I'm slurring because I've been in the cold. Um, the, the main guy from Crazy Rich, Rich Asians, because let's be honest, are Asian men prettier than any other race? Yes, and that's why he's the prettiest man alive. The, uh, the, the second prettiest man alive, let's be honest, it's not Bradley Cooper, it's Thor, whatever his name is. That guy's brother. Uh, I'm grateful that Miley didn't marry the hot one. Well, actually, I don't really care anymore because that's... Anyways, it doesn't matter. All right, so, um, yeah, Running Up That Hill is a good song, too. What I was trying to talk about is 5G versus 4G. So 5G is requires more electricity. And then everyone's going to go, Actually, according to my calculations, it doesn't require more electricity because your phone is going to send out a shorter distance signal. And you got a point there, but how many more towers do you have to build? Supposedly, it's like three times more towers that you're going to have to build to, and, and then those require electricity. But um, do I care about 5G? I feel like it's already gotten to that point that we're like we're kind of stuck with it because this phone right here is not going to work soon at all. There, that, That's what Verizon told me. I just bought this phone. It's a, it's a iPhone SE. It's not going to work. So I'm going to have to upgrade my phone to be able to work with the 5G towers. <clears throat> So this is a scam to make sure that we're continuing to consume more raw materials, which involves, um, like I have more than one iPhone SE and I can't, uh, I can't take it to get repaired, which if we had this cl clean currency versus dirty currency, can you just could take this to repairman? Can you buy this computer from me? I'll sell it to you. It's got 16 gigabytes of memory. It's got 500 and, and I can even change out my solid state drive on it. I've done it a million times. And yeah, it's got this thing. It's broken a little bit. But, you know, it's a really nice computer. Um, this one right here, which is a Dell XPS, if anyone wants to buy it, I'll sell it to you too. Um, it's It's got 16 gigabytes of memory too. Um, it's It's got 500 gigs. It's got a 500 gig hard drive. Um, can you use your, your your government money for this? Of course you can. Um, so, so when I talk about like having this universal living wage that's paid for and only like you can buy my iPad from me, but more than anything, it's going to help it's, Would that help the United States economy from a foreign trade perspective from this relationship we have with, tri with China that we're completely dependent on them manufacturing stuff. It would, um, would it, uh, could you buy my other, I have three computers in my room right in front of me right now. Um, and the only one I use is pretty much my Chromebook. I've got these really expensive computers. I use my Chromebook. Why? Because my Chromebook's my porn book. <laughs> it's, that's all I use it for. <laughs> I use my uh, MacBook Pro all the time. Uh, also, anyways, so could you buy a gun, a used gun? <laughs> Gosh, I'm never gonna get elected as a Democrat. <laughs> You can buy a used gun, but I am for limits on magazines. So will can we have a magazine buyback program where like I, I have nine magazines for my Glock Glock 19. I, I love my, I don't even have my gun on me. Oh no, what am I going to do without my gun? Uh, yeah, we could actually do a buyback thing. Like where if you have too many magazines for your gun and I say the maximum magazines you can have for per gun is three, um, which it's like, or you could just not tell us. <laughs> Keep it a secret. But I mean, it's not like I'm planning on searching houses. It's just if you're if you're transporting more than three magazines at the same time, I'm gonna have an issue with that, um, especially if you got body armor or something like that. Um, so I'm not exactly I'm not the most pro gun person ever, but I am a person that recognizes that um, just because a gun looks cool doesn't mean it's an assault rifle. What makes a gun an assault rifle is the large capacity magazine. And in Colorado, we've said 15 um, bullets is the most that a magazine should fit in it. But okay, so but what I was actually talking about is this currency, because I keep thinking about it, and I'm like, gosh, you can buy like anything. Say, say that you are on this universal living wage, which everybody that makes under a certain amount is on a universal living wage. And it's not like you're on, you're, you have food stamps. It's like you can go to a restaurant and eat. 
And then the restaurant business is going, wait, are you kidding me? Like you could, they could use food stamps at my restaurant and then the exchange rate is going to be pretty much on par with the dollar. Oh yeah. And we're going to take a lot of dollars out of circulation. That is the plan because we're going to have, because I know that food is not a clean energy thing, but, um, what we're not going to allow is say, say that you're importing, um, something from Argentina by jet. Yeah. I, I actually will like literally ban the import of certain types of food because right now our grocery stores, it's like year round, we need to have everything. Well, maybe we shouldn't do that. Maybe we should, um, think about the environment instead of, um, f having planes flying food here every single day when we don't need to do that. Because my whole idea of this pyramid building idea is that we're going to be close to the food. And we're gonna have we're gonna take make sure that the water is available for the food, and then we're gonna develop infrastructure around the food, like a train system, so that someday when we run out of oil, we're still gonna be able to have food security. So, all right. So, 4G versus 5G is 5G faster, way faster. Does does faster internet allow for spying more? Yeah, uh, way more. Like because why? Because you can hide uh, in you can hide in the data more if there's more data moving. Um, so that's true, but could 5G also be helpful for like artificial intelligence because you're sending a lot over the network? Yeah, but I'm telling you, I, I don't think 5G is network, 5G is necessary at all. Um, but 5G is already being done, so there's nothing we can do about it. Um, so, uh, I, I feel like a lot of things that we do, um, like they're, they're going to require more electricity, more energy, more everything, but who cares? Um, it's all about competition versus survival and I don't know I, I, I think it's pretty disappointing that this phone's not going to work anymore considering that I um, have been listening to YouTube on my phone on my 4G 3G phone and not on Wi-Fi on like on the cell towers and I haven't had a problem with it so why like why what, what more am I going to do than streaming massive amounts of video because what is the number one um, source of like one number number one traffic in the entire United States it's like 25% like of um inter internet traffic is is video over Netflix video is an video is the number one type of, of of traffic that's sent over the internet so this whole notion that we're going to um we're going to save the world of 5G I think 5G is actually going to waste a lot of electricity but there's nothing we can do about it it's already been done and they're already making me have to go buy a new phone for this when I want it to be like okay so the whole point I'm trying to make is if we do this universal living wage and people can have jobs in addition to it, um, can we buy all types of food? Imported food is going to require dollars. What? That's why Canada should do a business deal with us where we're partnering with Canada because we import a lot of food from Canada. Mexico, could they do? Could they partner with us? Dude, if we partner with Mexico, then we have, then we have to worry about um, – then their population becomes our problem. And I don't know if I want to do that. Um, but that this is the moment that we decide um, Mexico is exempt from. Um, the, but but is it? I don't know. That's the thing. I have to go talk to my economists because my economists are all going, dude. Our whole like throughout all of history, it's all about building things. It's all about making more computers. It's all about making more SUVs. And I know I'm talking too much, but um, does it have to be? I don't think it does because I think the incentive should be to encourage people to work in the service industry and is, is a doctor a service? Yeah. Is a lawyer a service? Yeah. Is an accountant a service? Yeah. Is, are there a lot of jobs that are services? Oh yeah. Um, but, uh, um, if we can reduce, if it's the same thing with like, there's a difference between reusable and recycle. So I can recycle this. And then they melt down parts of it and reuse the reuse the raw materials, or I can reuse it and I can fix it, um, and that requires a lot of le less electricity. It's the same thing with sodas. Sodas in other countries they have glass bottles, and you can you return the glass bottle, and th they'll give you a discount on your so on your next soda. In the United States we use plastic for everything, so am I down to ban plastic altogether for sodas, plastic sodas? pretty close uh, or like triple the tax so that if you buy a soda at the store it costs five dollars but if you buy one that comes in a glass bottle that you can that you can trade your glass bottle like they do in every other freaking country in the world pretty much that's poor um, then um, it's gonna cost you like a dollar 
So um, maybe it's not a full ban, but it's I, I'm still like I, I'm still going through brainstorming ideas for how we're going to save the planet, which a lot of it has to do with changing the way that we live and um, saying, well, do we have to have imported have, have like I, I know we import a lot of wheat from Italy. That's non-perishable. Non-perishable is different than perishable. Um, and so now I'm starting to go into fine print. And so what I'm saying is I am reasonable. Um, and I, I, but, but I also am radical about getting off oil. So I, I, we need to do extreme things, but we, but I, I'm also okay with being reasonable. And that's why I need my economists to be able to consult me. Fortunately, I don't have any viewers, so no chance in Iowa, but dude, I'm telling you, if I, I actually was running in the general election. I feel like I could get a lot of Republicans on my side. I don't know. I'm out.